by three lengths in the dulcify quality at Randwick over 2,000 metres on September 26. And he was uh, four and three quarter lengths behind Dignity Dancer in running fifth in the Spring Champion Stakes after that. He's the class runner. He's $1.90. And here's Greg. Thank you. Smart banker goes into line. He's got out uh, some three points and he's almost at uh, double each way. Wellington opened in the red. He's got out a little, but he's still the uh, clear favourite in the race. He's just into black now. $1.90, $1.30. He's uh, a little under of what uh, you'll be able to secure on track. But he's a pronounced favourite, and uh, the grey with Shane Dye on board does look an outstanding chance in the race. They continue to move in. That's General Turf about to come up, going in riderless in the uh, Peter Hayes team. And uh, he's got the blinkers off today, led at a fast pace at his most recent run. Now there's Basher going into the line. Here's Wellington, the favourite, coming up. Anywhere near a repeat of his champion stakes run, and you'd reckon he'd uh, be the one to beat. About to come in, Shane Dye on board. Won this uh, race on Stony Bay back in 1994. Iris Choir on the move, Mithranda out behind the line, Damien Oliver on today. Here's Sir Gray coming up into line. Similar colours to Wajib Star. White cap on Sir Gray. Goes in now. Good crowd, we had overcast conditions which might have uh, kept a few away, but it's built up steadily over the last hour and a half or so. Tell you what, Wellington's inclined to get uh, fractious in the gates here and dies out of the stalls. He's wanting to rear uh, Wellington. Out there next to Clay Fighter. Ooh, settle down, son. The hot favourite. And Dye is well out of harm's way. Standing right on top of the uh, division between the two gates. Clay Fighter's on the right in the black and gold. There's Irish Squire going in. Now Dye gingerly finding his seat as Mithrand has moved in, they are all in. And uh, Shane getting back aboard. His legs are sprayed everywhere. Wellington, he looks a certainty to miss it. Now he stands better. Off. He didn't begin all that badly, considering over near the outside. Sir Gray's grabbed hold of it. Solidity dropped out early. Lord Larwood away fast. Receptor's going quickly. There's Irish Squire. Mithranda's come across with it. General Turf just inside them. Lord Larwood hunting up just behind the leading horses when they head towards the turnout of the straight now. And uh, it's Receptor over on the inside. Irish Squire, Lord Larwood between them. Mithranda Whiteout's going forward. Just behind them, Wajib Star, fifth the rail from General Turf. They're being followed then by Stolly, who's whipping around the field that quickly he might run to the lead. Next to Smart Banker and Basher as Stolly did go to the front. In behind those, Schmooter over on the outside of Solidity. They're followed then by Clay Fighter. Over on the inside then is Sir Gray towards the end. And second last is Frazeal. And a length and a half to Wellington, the favourite at the back of the field. 1,300 metres left to go as they hit into the back. And Stolly, the leader, about a length and a half in front of Irish Squire. A length with Randa, who's done a good job to get as close to the rail in third placing. Lord Lowood trapped on its outside. One of the half receptor enjoying a good run now. Fifth on the inside of Smart Banker. General Turf and then Wajib Star over on the inside. Wonder Basher. So next is Schmooter on the outside of Solidity and Sir Gray. Two lengths behind them, Clay Fighter, followed by Frazeal, and two and a half or three lengths to Wellington at the back, 900 to go. And Stolly in front, Lord Lowood had moved up to second after racing wide. Mithranda is two lengths back third. A length and a half, Irish Squire, Receptor, General Turf is out three wide, 700 metres to go. Then Smart Banker, Wajib Star, and next is Schmooter in the pink. About a length behind it is Sir Gray, followed by Solidity. Uh, next in the field is Frazeal, and now Wellington takes off at the 600 metres. He's going to come about three or four wide when they swing around the corner. Lord Lowood moved up to Stolly. Receptor is out to challenge and Mithranda's just behind them from Smart Banker. General Turf is next out of the whip. Schmooter's come out wide and the deepest will be the grey Wellington. He's starting to stoke up in the straight and Receptor dash to the lead. Smart Banker's descended on him quickly and race to the front. They're followed then by Mithranda trying to get off their heels and Wellington is next. Smart Banker from Receptor and now Mithranda trying to reach some Smart Banker in front. Mithranda mows him down and Mithranda a good win over Smart Banker. Sir Gray, I think, grabbed third from Receptor. Wellington.
left at miles late. Then Lord Larwood followed by Stolly. Back behind those was Solidity, followed in by Schmooter and then Frazeal towards the end was Wajib Star. General Turf after racing wide. Iris Choir one of the last and then Clay Fighter and a distant last was Basher. Good win that. Bart Cummings just keeps unearthing staying three-year-olds. He did it with runaway at Caulfield, and this has been a sterling win. He got held up in the straight, and Oliver had to ease him over the heels. Receptor and Smart Banker had raced past him, and by the time he got out, he was a couple behind. But look at him lengthen. He changed stride, and then he just went whoosh. Top performance, that. Number four, Mithranda, taking it out. The second official goes to number 13, Smart Banker. And third, number 12, Sir Gray ridden by Kevin Forrester. He's snatched third placing ahead of Receptor and then came Wellington. Two links back, fifth. A race that has, uh, we've seen so often the favourites go under and it's happened again with, Math, uh, with uh, Mithranda scoring a solid win and Wellington from last. I kept an eye on him and it wasn't until the 700 that Shane pulled him out and made his run. Then they were all off and he was pushed out very, very deep making his run. Uh, he did one bet in the straight, though. He was very disappointing. It, there was no storming finish from him. He raced like a very flat horse, actually. But Mithranda didn't. He's, uh, he's really peaking. He's come good at the right time. Whether he's up to the other staying three-year-olds, I don't know. Hello, yes. Thank you. One and a quarter by three quarters of the official margins. They've run 216.8. That's two seconds outside of the record, which was set by Sir Midas. 10-10, 260 the winner, 260 second, 1080 third, Quinella 3870, Exactor 8290, Trifecta 2889 $2, running double two and four, fifty seven dollars and thirty cents. Don't worry about the time, it was the way he accelerated in the straight over the last hundred metres that I think was the most impressive portion of his race. He drew wide. Oliver used him up on a couple of occasions. He's made more than one run in this race. Uh, and he just relaxed when he got there on the speed and then produced a great sprint when uh, he finally got into the clear. That was a most dominant win, a very exciting win by Miss Randa uh, in a year where we've got some pretty good staying three-year-olds just starting to emerge, John, and uh, whether he's up to the likes of Runaway, Kenwood Melody and uh, the, the hot guns for the uh, Derby, the likes of Arena, I don't know, but that was one heck of a good win in the Derby Trail Stakes. Yes, Smith Randa, 14, th 4, 13 and 12, race 6, those toads shortly. About to move up at Ipswich, Lord Oliver. Australia centering on Sky Channel today for the Geelong Cup. Here's Greg Miles. More than half the field locked away now. Chatham the favourite for Noel Harris. Out here for the Melbourne Cup. He's got a win here to qualify for the race. And he's about 13 to 4. A little easy early, but he's been tried. So at $5.00 holding up at good value on the super tab eight dollars twenty for number four backdrop who's been a little easy eight dollars fifty for number eight rover who's well on the market only about a six to one chance for the bookmakers on course valance easy but it's only at sevens and ancient city number 12 well on the market at sixes nearly ready light flashing they're all set ready to go off Scrupulous in the middle of the line began okay. Chatham's missed it. Chatham blew the start. He went sideways. He's last. He missed it by at least three or four. Prince Iluka first out, down on the inside from Starletto, and Madonna began quickly. Royal Caleb going across. There's backdrop now. He's moved up on the outside of them, but he is posted wide. And then Napier Street from Oregon Star. Ancient City behind them, and then DeMond for a length and a half. Platonic three wide from Balance and Scrupulous. As again towards the end from Rover, followed by True and Easy. And then Chatham, who's second last, and Heed the Toll is last of all. So they turn out of the straight, and Starletto is the leader. Out to the crossing, and Starletto is going to be about two lengths in front as they settle fully into stride. Backdrop had moved up into second. Prince Aluka a length and a half away third. One Madonna fourth. The pace is generous. About two lengths further back in the field. Then Napier Street tucked away on the inside of Royal Caliph. Two lengths Oregon Star outside Valance and then came to Montford three wide. One to As again. Ancient City a length and a half. Scrupulous Platonic. Over on the inside. True and Easy followed by Raver. Chatham is back to second last. The Grey and Heed the Toll is last of all with 1300 metres to go down the back.
Starletto about two lengths. Backdrop has just dropped the bit and he hacks along in second placing. Two lengths, Prince of Luca. One further back is Madonna in the green colours, followed by Royal Califf and De Montfort making a forward move on the outside. Next, Napier Street, Oregon Star. Valance between horses as Oregon Star's three wide. Ancient City is following her into the race. One to As again, one to Scrupulous and Raver. One further back, True and Easy. They're followed by Chatham, who's gone past Platonic and two lengths to heed the toll. Off the back now. No place for loafers at the 800 metres and Starletto a better neck in front. De Montfort had gone up to second, two lengths to backdrop. Then came Prince of Luca having a charm run on the inside from Royal Califf. Ancient City's working into the race. Next is Madonna, Oregon Star, Scrupulous and the Pink coming wide. Then Valance and Napier Street. Chatham will need to fly from where he is. He's only got about four behind him when they come around the home turn. And into the straight, Starletto just a leader from De Montfort. Backdrop's called on for the run. Ancient City's working home strongly on the outside. Prince of Luca back on the rail. And Chatham is still well back. Starletto at the 200 is the leader, but Backdrop's coming after him quickly. And now Ancient City winding up strongly. It's Ancient City out in the middle getting to the lead. Oregon Star's running on. Backdrop and Starletto fighting back, but Ancient City in front end. Ancient City won it. Oregon Star flew home and drew an easy for the miners from Backdrop close up. And Vela's not far away. Chatham did his best work late, followed by Prince of Luca. Behind those was As again and Starletto, who weakened badly over on the inside. Platonic never came into it. Madonna, one of the last to go over the line. Napier Street has finished towards the end of the field. Uh, back there to Royal Califf and also Heed the Toll. Scrupulous beat about three or four home and Raver uh, finished alongside it. We'll bring you the replay of second, the uh, horse in the... ...strongly on the outside, Prince of Luca back on the rail, and Chatham is still well back, Starletto at the 200 is the leader, but Backdrop's coming after him quickly, and now Ancient City winding up strongly, it's Ancient City out in the middle, getting to the lead, Oregon Star's running on, Backdrop and Starletto fighting back, but Ancient City in front end, Ancient City won it, Oregon Star flew home and drew an easy for the miners from Backdrop close up, and Bella's not far away. As Ancient City returns, I think the third horse was a certainty beaten. In fact, we might uh, go there and pick up this action uh, live. Let's take you trackside to Geelong. Here's Brendan Parnell with connections. Not getting that audio just at the moment. We were before, but we're not now. Let's update Ipswich. Congratulations to connections of Ancient City. And Hebe, $1.85, number one. Number two, a darker at 13. Three, Grey Mascot, 20. Wales, $6, Queensland, over 10 and 14. Big trifectas, $5,566, Victoria. $3,766, New South Wales. And $4,651 in Queensland. Runners got out now if it's good.